Keep on rockin' in the free world! Keep on rockin' in the free world! Hola, everyone! How's it going out there in RV land? It's, uh, it's bloody, bloody hot! Hot, 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 hot! And, uh, summer is definitely here. The beaches are packed. People are out on their bikes. People are out on the water, boats, paddleboarding, you name it. Yesterday I was out at uh, Harrison Lake, about an hour and a half east of Vancouver. It was beautiful. And uh, yeah, so something uh, ultimately we all get as RVers, uh, as far as um, constant questions that come back every year. How do you deal with the heat in the summer? And how do you deal with uh, cold in the winter? I, we always get these questions. And, you know, uh, there's so many factors, but I think the biggest the biggest factor is where you happen to live. Here on the BC South Coast, it's, it's pretty mild all year round during the winter. Like we rarely ever see a snowflake. So that's why it's so popular. That's why it's called Vancouver. That's why it's so popular with uh, full timers. But in the summer, like right now it's pretty warm. Now you're gonna have to excuse the engine and wind noise, but this is one of the ways I deal with the heat. I drive, I, I think the doors are locked open. Both the doors plus the uh, the roll up door in the back, wide open. And that's the, that's the way I like it. Uh, <laughs> I've had vans with air conditioning uh, and I almost never used it because except when you're actually moving in transit and driving and, and I guess you could have all your windows up and your air conditioning on, that's great, but for the most part van life isn't about uh, moving, it's about parking and living, right? So when you're parked, I'm not, I'm not going to park and leave my window shut <laughs> on nice summer days. I just can't, I can't live like that. I love fresh air and and uh, and breeze and uh, and being outdoors and that's one of the big advantages of RV life is you live more outside than you're living inside but that being said this van as you know I've had many 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 vans this van is the first one I've ever owned where a hot day like today to give you an idea it's it's uh, about 32 degrees today 35 uh, farther east from Vancouver and I've been in plus 40 degree weather uh, in vans before. And anyways, the sun comes up, it's hot, and people are trying to find shade everywhere. And uh, yeah, I, I'm in the back of the van here sleeping, and it's 11 o'clock in the morning, and I can't even tell. I can't even tell if it's sunny out, let alone whether it's hot out. And that's what I love about this van. It's so, I don't know, it's just got standard pink insulation in the roof between the layers of aluminum. But I also have the roof deck up there, so it's like a false roof over the actual roof, so uh, no heat's getting through there. And anyways, long story short, the back of this van is so nice and cool. Uh, until I open the blackout blinds, I can't even tell if the sun's out or whether it's raining out. Because it stays pretty much a constant, nice, cool temperature in the back. But as soon as you walk into the front, now I got the sliding door. As soon as you open that door and walk into the front cab in the morning, it's like, whoo, sauna. Just a heat wave in your face because this is just a glass room. Like I, I could make this a, a solarium or I could uh, turn it into a greenhouse. Uh, my girlfriend was saying you should put some cactuses up front here. Totally could. But then when I'm driving, of course, everything's wide open. So it's not a big deal. So my air conditioning is, is having everything wide open. And that's, even when I had vans, this doesn't have AC, these are basic as, as you can get. Even when I had vans with AC, the last thing I wanted to do was shut everything and hide inside. I love the fresh air, I love the wind in my face. And oh my God, it is really busy down here at the beach. Look at this. There is no parking, oh no. All the RVers that got here at like six o'clock in the morning, I can see it. There's a homemade cube van over there, a couple class C's camper there's gonna be RVs all the way down the beach here but I'm probably not gonna get a spot because it is a beautiful sunny Sunday look at all the people out on the sand there out in the ocean oh it's gorgeous anyways there I'll put you up front so you can see from there anyways how do I deal with the heat well this is generally how you do it so we, we live on the 
we live on the West Coast, right? So anybody can attest to this. When you live on the West Coast, uh, it doesn't matter whether it's way down south in, in Southern California or way up in like Juneau, Alaska. Anywhere along the West Coast is the best place to be in the winter because almost never gets snow and, it's, and it keeps fairly mild. But the, the opposite is true in the summer because you come down here near the beaches, near the islands, near, near the, anywhere near the ocean, the temperature is immediately five, six, seven, eight degrees l lower than the rest of BC. A and I'm sure that's the case everywhere, in Washington State, California, Oregon, whatever, right? So uh, where I came from earlier today, an hour and a, about an hour and a half east of Vancouver, was a lot hotter than it's already feeling down here. Like it's hot enough to be down here in your bikini and sun tanning and you're gonna have to cover yourself in sunscreen, of course, and you can get heat stroke, but it's not as bad as when you're away from the ocean. So as a general rule, I wasn't here uh, today because I had things to do, but generally what I do is I'll come down early in the morning and get a spot for the day and I open all the windows and I got nothing but ocean breeze blowing through my motorhome all day and it's beautiful. You never overheat and uh, you, you always feel refreshed. And often too, I'll just hop in my shower. I won't turn on the hot water and I'll just have a quick cold shower to cool off. And then you just stand in front of the window or go outside and uh, you know, make sure you put something on first, you uh, perverts. But <laughs> you stand outside and you got that, that ocean breeze on you after you get out of the shower. I mean, it's, it's amazing. And of course you can just go out to the ocean too and wait in the ocean. Like it looks like, I'm looking over there right now and it looks like there are hundreds, hundreds of people out in the ocean right now. It's just beautiful. So it's fairly easy. And then look at this, find a shady spot. If you don't want any sun at all, find a shady spot. You got ocean breeze and you're good. You don't, you never, never worry about overheating. Now I don't live in a desert, so I can't answer questions for people that live in like Arizona and things like that. But that's how we do it on the West coast. You get near the water, get anywhere near the ocean or even a big lake. And you got that wind and you got that water and the temperature goes down and you feel comfortable generally. So it, it's not overwhelming at all. And I've never, never had a need to, to have AC. Uh, I'll tell you something. The one that had, the, the RV I had a few years ago that had the built-in generator with the roof air conditioning and the ducted air conditioning all through it, the only time I used it, actually shut everything and put it on, was when I was at a music festival with 40,000 other people and I was parked in the middle of a field for a week that I could not move from. There wasn't any wind that day and there's no ocean nearby and so I'm stuck there in the sunshine and it was 42 degrees so yeah I put on my AC but honestly if I didn't have that I just open everything up and get out a mister and mist yourself with some nice some nice water or something or or go do something go find a water slide or something there's things to do like you know yeah they actually had a water slide at that festival anyways to me it's not worth the hassle the weight, the fuel, the noise, all of that, just to, just to have something that I'm gonna use once in a blue moon. Now I know some people, uh, they, they live literally locked inside all the time. They're the type that drive all, on a sunny day like this with all their windows up and their air conditioning on. And you know, I, I don't know, I'm not, I'm not that kind of guy. I'm a convertible kind of guy. I would rather be in a convertible with the open air coming in. I don't wanna be uh, uh, in front of an air conditioner. It just, it doesn't feel right to me. And, oh shit, look, I'm not getting any parking down here today. I'm not getting any parking, the whole beach. <laughs> oh man, oh well, I thought I'd come down and check it out, but too good to be true. I'm off work tomorrow, maybe I'll come down to it. It's Monday tomorrow, so a lot of these people will be at work. But uh, anyways, so that's what we do here, is we come down to the beach, and if you're not in the city, there's uh, on the, you're on the islands, you're in smaller towns, there's usually a river, a lake, or an ocean nearby. And that's what you do. So, I oh, hope they're putting gates up on these parking lots after all these years. I said one day they would do it, and uh, that'll be the end of parking here overnight. Oh, ice cream truck, I totally should do it. It's just like my van, but smaller. Anyways, that's it guys, it's hot, it's hot. Now, uh, I am not gonna get a parking spot down here today, I don't think. Uh, there's people up there waiting for parking spots, so. Yeah, no, it's not gonna happen. I just thought I'd come down though, check it out. If there was a spot I'd park, if not, at least come down and to see the sights because it's just a beautiful summer day in Vancouver. 
I'm gonna hit, uh, jump on another ferry soon and uh, get over to the islands again. I'm not sure which one yet. I like to just do it spontaneously, but uh, I get all. I always get weekends off, so I gotta get out of town. Now. As far as CamperCon, uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't know if we're gonna do it. And now, now, now we're not gonna do it down here if they put gates on all these uh, parking lots now, anyway. So no more parking here overnight. That's okay. Holy crap! Oh wow. Look at the crowds. As far as the eye can see, there are nothing but people. People, people, people. Well, at least I got to drive through and see it. Yeah, but this is why you gotta come early in the morning. Or you can be like this guy ahead of me here who's just waiting for someone to back out. Warning, Just Incredible TV is not gluten-free. Click that subscribe button below and make them 